Hello, it's Monday the 14th of May 2018. Hello, so I've just been to an appointment with my GP and I had to discuss with her all the things that have been going on, mainly the thing with my shoulder dropping down which I've had to strap up so that I'm just not in complete agony all the time. She's referring me to a shoulder specialist and I am also getting referred to a three week inpatient treatment for people with EDS at a hospital in London which my specialist had suggested back in December when she diagnosed me at UCLH but it seemed like it was really difficult to get onto the waiting list and get a referral and the process was really unclear but we finally, finally got there now. So. I, it was a gorgeous sunny day and after being in the doctors and seeing all that amazing sunshine out of the window I thought that I'd just head into the park across the road rather than heading straight home. Um, I'm just out in my electric wheelchair and it was quite funny just now actually because I just came into the entrance of the park which is a paved path and then when you get to a certain point the path just turns into a few sort of stony bits and then it's just this whole field you can see behind me. So there was a little girl just standing at the entrance to the park with her mum, looked like she was waiting for someone and she saw me rolling up to the field in my wheelchair and I could hear her whispering to her mum in a, in a really innocent way. She was saying, how's that girl going to manage, how's her chair going to get across How's she going to get into the park? What are we going to do? She was saying to her mum. And her mum was just like, shh, don't worry about it, shh. Because I guess she didn't want me to be offended or something. Not that I was. But I thought it would be funny to have a bit of a laugh about it. So I, when I heard this little girl saying this, I just swung the wheelchair round straight onto the grass, turned it onto maximum speed and just went flying across it. So I'm just about to get started on some university work since I've got my arm strapped up. All I can really do is do stuff with my voice but luckily I've got this disability software that the university gave me that I can use to dictate things I want to write so I'm just going to work on the writing side of explaining the project and the changes I've made to the work and things like that. I was using it a bit yesterday and after about half an hour you get really used to saying the pronunciation and it works really well. It's maybe even better than just typing normally because having to think of the words and say them out loud forces you to keep paying attention. So tomorrow I've got a trip to UCL Hospital in London because I'm going back to the Ellers Danlos Syndrome Specialist place there Apparently it's a group education session about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I'm not really sure what it's going to involve, but I'm looking forward to finding out. My mum is taking the day off work to take me there because I just really don't think there's any possible way for me to get there on public transport, no matter how many different changes I make because the tubes and things just aren't all wheelchair accessible. So. I'd never make it there on my own. Right, I'm off to do a bit more university work. Bye bye.